so it's another rainy day here in Osaka. Now that it's April, things are kind of starting to pick back up again. As I've mentioned before, there's no official quarantine by the government, at least not here in Osaka. Um, the mayor of Osaka has recommended that people stay away from doing hanami parties, that they stay away from large crowds, but people kind of just keep going about their daily lives. Lately, the number of COVID cases um, seem to be increasing, so I think that in the next month, things might start getting a little, a little weird. And I'm not sure I'll be able to do these walking around videos anymore. Someone left a comment online about how I should make uh, my videos more informative. And I do plan to make videos like that. But the reason I like making these walking around videos is because before I moved here, these are the type of videos I like to watch of people walking around different neighborhoods, just seeing what life in Japan was like, just daily life. And I mean, I'm not sure if these types of videos are for everyone, but if there's anyone out there like me who, you know, just likes these walking around videos, I guess these videos are for them, you know? The neighborhoods where I like to shoot though, I just haven't really seen too many videos on. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I want to show you guys. The neighborhood I'm heading to right now is called Sekime, or at least that's the name of the station. Um, in this neighborhood, there's a lot of really cool, like old retro looking buildings. And it looks like a really old part of town, so. Yeah, the last time I was there, I found this building that I think was abandoned. It looked pretty abandoned, but it was like a public building. So you can get onto the, the top floors and you have this really cool view of the station and the cityscape. So I think that's what I'm going to try to find again today. I apologize. The station isn't Sekime. It's called Senbayashi Omiya. Um, there's a big shopping arcade that runs through it. We're gonna skip that and kind of walk around the side streets a bit. I'm trying to find this building that I'm telling you about. I think this is the building here. It's got like one of those slanted roof type deals. Everything seems closed. This might not be. Well, that's a residential building, so that's not it. Yeah, I guess if I can't find it, I'll just shoot around the side streets and hopefully you guys enjoy the footage.
Actually, I think that's the building there. It does look like a private residence though. I came in through the side. So this is where I came in last time. And I think there's like an old bar that's been closed down there. At the top of that escalator. The escalator doesn't. Actually, the bar might still be in business. It's probably just closed for now. So, around that corner, um, it is a residential building, and there are people living there. But I think if you just climb up these stairs here, I mean, if you're into photography, you could probably get some really cool shots here. If you go any higher, there are people living there, so probably don't want to head all the way up there. But I mean, it's a nice day. I think you can get a pretty cool view. Anyway. I'm glad we found the place and it's kind of hard to explain exactly where it is. If you want to explore, it's near Sembayashi Omiya Station. I'm heading back home, so I guess that's the end of the video and thanks for watching.